So, hi everyone. My name is Neofitos and I've been coordinating or being the onboarding keeper, as Ivan mentioned it earlier, for the last couple of years. So, as with the previous calls, I'm here to tell you what we have been doing over the last couple of years and see how we can move forward with that. So the issue with onboarding is that when you're joining a new community, most of the time you start feeling like you're alone. You have lots of docu documentation to read, lots of processes to learn, lots of code to study. So the whole idea of onboarding is to make that easier for people that are coming into our community and try to help them make their first commit and hopefully stick around and commit in the long run so we can maintain the sustainability of our community. So as you can see, there are many ways to actually treat a newcomer. The whole idea of this goal is to choosing like the, this one, patting newcomers, trying to not explode them or shoot them down when they are starting to make their first steps. So be welcoming, offer your guidance, and if you're doing that, give a pat to yourself for being an awesome onboarder. <laughs> this is a photo I took at the Nuremberg spin. It was a KDE mega spin, as we called it, because there were three parallel spins there for Queen, um, KDE Connect, and the onboarding goal. And what I love about this picture is that, for me, it's everything that onboarding should be about. You can clearly see the three Davids there. That's <laughs> David Faure, who's there. That's David Edmundson, who's there. And R David Redondo, I don't think he's with us today. Anyway, so yeah, it's great to see these three Davids collaborating together in order to solve an issue. So that's amazing. You can see three generations of Davids as well. Three generations. <laughs> <laughs> it's three generations of KD contributors, actually. David on the left has been around, I don't know, from the start probably, from uh, the very early years. And he always has these awesome KD t-shirts that I've never seen in the past. <laughs> 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 yeah, we should have some KD retro t-shirts or something, I think. So yeah, Devin has been also here for a, a while, and David Don on the right has only been with us for two years, I think. He's been a, he's a young student doing already doing amazing things. So yeah, this is a point of onboarding for me. You can see them also smiling, so this is a happy process for them. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's important, actually, to be able to enjoy what you're doing and trying to solve a issue. I don't know if you solved it in the end, whatever you're working. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully we fix that. So yeah, it's all about doing that so we can get commitment in order to move forward and being able to sustain this flow of income and com contributors. Now the goals in general, when they were voted, they were it was suggested to be like very big goals, like things that we would work on in the long term. It's, it, they were not supposed to be thought about as something that we would work for a couple of years and then drop them. And this is the whole idea here. So at times it might, it might feel that we're not doing enough. It might feel that there's still lots of work to be done. But that doesn't mean that we shouldn't move forward, of course. And when I was trying to gather things around in order to, do, to make this call and this talk and prepare for this talk, I realized that we have achieved a lot during these 18 months. I want to get started by the community. That's, at least for me, a very, very important aspect of this. So we have managed to have very high participations of newcomers in, uh, in Academy over the last years, and hopefully it was like that in the past. I think this year is around one in three persons, around and it was the same last year, which is a great to have so many newcomers around to start being involved into KD. And for newcomers here, don't be afraid, don't be shy, try to meet with the other people. It might be intimidating at the beginning, but do get involved, try to go to the workshops, try to learn whatever you can and meet the people and the projects that you want to get involved. Most projects will have workshops and things like that that you can get involved. It was the same at the sprints. We had. Uh, I think eight or ten sprints this year, and it was great to see so many newcomers involved there as well. And of course, my understanding is that compared at least to the previous year, we have many new KDEV members, around 10 or 12 now, I don't know, but 
the numbers has certainly increased compared to last year at least. So that's great. It means that we're doing well on the community front. Another thing we did in terms of the community is uh, that we started talking and forming a KD welcome team. And the whole idea for this is to have a go-to place where newcomers will be able to join the channel. We currently host it on the matrix, for which I'll talk a bit later. And the idea is to have a place where newcomers can join and ask all those silly questions and see how they can get involved and try to have people to be amazing with them and respond and be the first line of response to people. And hopefully the goal here is to have at least one representative from any project or team to join this channel so we can direct them to you if the people that are asking on how to get involved are actually interested to get involved in your project. So if you haven't joined yet, think about in your project and team if you can have some person joining here. And thank you to the people that have been doing some great work in the welcome team. I think Valerie and Babisha and other people have been very active there and it's great to see them. So switching to tools now. Um, a big thing over the last year or more maybe has been the transition to GitLab. We have been working with the GitLab people very closely over the last year. Um, we are nowadays at the final stages, let's say, of the whole process that started. Uh, we are trying to work together with GitLab in order to make this work for both GitLab and KDE. There's still work to be done, but we are very closely. The sysadmin team has been doing, Ben and Bushan at least, ha have been doing amazing work in order to get this started. We have already set up a test environment on invent.kd.org. We invited teams to join us there in order to see what works and what doesn't for us, try to get some feedback, communicate it back to GitLab, and hopefully <laughs> everything will work out for the best in order for this to move on. The reasons why we chose GitLab was obviously the, um, the familiar workflow. We believe that new developers nowadays will be much more accustomed to a tool like GitLab that's widely adopted everywhere and it's been adopted by other open source communities also. I think Debian and GNOME and other communities as well. Um, it has, for that reason, a lower entry barrier as people and new developers are more are more used to that workflow nowadays, so that's important for us as well. And of course, it's been actively developed and backed by a company and a big open source community. Of course, this doesn't come with any, any challenges, without any challenges, so big part of that is inertia. We don't usually accept change very easily. So, and of course, the fact that people have been accustomed to Fabricator and other tools that we have been using so far, that complicates things. Are obviously, some workflows will be breaking as you need to transition to a new tool. So we're trying our best in order to avoid that and make the transition as simple as, as possible. And there are still some pending issues that we're trying to resolve with GitLab so we can proceed and make this like a final change and switch. So, GitLab is here in its present at Academy, and I want to thank them for that. I see Ray here from GitLab, and I don't know if David is here as well, no? No, so it's good to have you here. Thank you for the sponsorship as well, and I think you have a workshop set up and also a talk later in the day, so do join there to learn more about the, the GitLab open source project, the GitLab community, how you can get involved, how you can contribute, and learn some of bit about the workflows that are being used so you can get involved. Now, a second tool that we chose to use uh, in collaboration with the Matrix community who have been very generous in, in terms of hosting a, a, a server for us, an official KDE server, let's say. The reason we moved with this is that, as Ike mentioned, we believe that Riot is much closer aligned to our values and where we want to be in terms of the open source community compared to other tools that we know that our developers use nowadays, like Telegram, which is obviously very uh, convenient and useful, and it gets the job done, probably. But we wanted to have a go-to menu that is close to us and what we do. So for our communications, we wanted to have a place where people could join and then they could find their, work, their way into the Kindy project and channels. Where, so we have everything hosted under one roof that you can join now. Also, uh, this was actually Fabricator and Maxilla improvements was actually another goal, a second, uh, let's say a fourth goal that was suggested back in the days when the goals were initiated and it got adopted into the boarding goal because we, we considered it was an important one. The whole idea was to, that Nate proposed, Nate Graham, uh, 
um, was to simplify some parts of the registration process and change some things on the workflow so we could make Fabricator work better for us. And what we also did in order to improve the process for newcomers is was to adopt the junior jobs tax so people coming in could browse their projects they want to get involved and find some jobs and bugs that they could easily solve in collaboration with all their developers and more experienced contributors, that is. Finally, on, in terms of documentation, uh, there's been lots of work on updating and maintaining updated because that's very important uh, to maintain all the documentation updated on our website. So the Get Involved website, uh, a lot of that work was done by the usability and productivity people and the team that work on that. So it's been updated a lot of compared where, where we are two years ago. And also, the, the V uh, decided that it's a good time to hire someone to work on documentation so they could assess the whole situation and um, try to point us towards the future and what we need to work on and what we need to improve in order to, um, to improve the documentation as well. So we've been doing work on that as well. Now, in general, we, hel we held several other activities you know, for the goals and the onboarding goal as well, which gave us a lot of promotion, both inside the open source community and outside of that. We held several IRC office hours where people could come in and ask questions and learn more about the goals and KDE in general. We also did uh, a couple of Reddit Ask Me Anything sessions as well, which were very well received. I think they gathered around 300 to 400 comments, the last one. And through all that, we've been gathering a lot of feedback about new contributors. Now, uh, to talk a bit more about the onboarding speed that took place in a couple of months ago, there were around 20 to 25 candy contributors there discussing. We split the sprint in two days. We tried in the first part to realize what we have been doing so far and the various ways of doing, doing things and how people set up a development environment now. It actually turned out that there were, at least for the more experienced user, there are at least five to six different ways to set up a, a developer environment. And those are not necessarily the same with what we have been asking newcomers to do. So that's not necessarily bad because we want more experienced users to be able to set up their system in any way that gets them to be productive. But at the same time, it makes it much more difficult to maintain and sustain a, a standard, let's say, way of doing things in terms of KD source speeds that we have been doing so far. That it's a tool that has been helping us so far, but we want to look ahead and see what are the challenges and how we can continue improving on that case. So we came up with two. Uh, possible solutions. One was using Conan, which is, I don't know if I'm saying right, but I think it's a cute package manager of some sort. And uh, the other is using a combination between KDevelop and Flatpak in order to make the whole process a bit more straightforward, a bit easier, and hopefully using a GUI so people would can just click, 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 download something, and click again and start. They have their development environment set up without go having to resolve to going to the um, CLI environment and all that. So on the second day, we tried to test for these two, position, two solutions, possible solutions. There has been uh, some work done in order to understand to what extent and to what level we are today in order to implementing them. And there are still lots of work to be done. Hopefully, we'll follow up on that in order to, um, to, move, for, uh, to move forward with this solution. So this is one of the things that still requires a lot of work in order to have an actual result, so to have an actual solution that we can give to users. Uh, another major task that at least hasn't been closed over these two years is the website redesign. Um, I know uh, Jonathan and Carl, uh, I don't know if he's here, have been, doing, yeah, have been doing some great work on the design of the website. From the onboarding part, one major thing that uh, we believe needs to be changed is to have a more straightforward path for newcomers. Maybe we can be more active in suggesting ways they can get they can get started with contributing. We nowadays have the Get Involved website, which is like a wiki. But what would be good for me, I think, is would be to be able to come go to them and say, hey, th these are five apps you can get started. These are five simple apps. You don't have to get started with Plasma or KDP or complicated stuff like that. So we can be more active in terms of proposing new projects, guiding them to the resources of those projects, and finding the right mentors for them to get involved. So, and of course, there are many other th minor things that we can work in the future. Now, the biggest thing for me, at least in terms of the, that surprised me the most, 
after having my, the goal that I just said being voted in, was how much we, I saw the KDE community adopting this goal. And not just this goal, the onboarding one, but not the three ones. So I think that's a major win for the whole goals initiative, and I'm glad to see it be continue. Of course, I made up those uh, quotes there, but if you've been following the, the KDE community mailing list, channels, responses on uh, various uh, media, and uh, you will have seen a comment like that, and that's what makes it, makes it great for me. That you have, s you have, you will realize that people have adopted it, they embraced it, and they they started thinking about it when they were proposing a new solution or something in a discussion. Of course, we have stats as well. Um, thanks to Nicolas who provided, <coughs> sorry, the who provided the stats for me at the onboarding sprint. So what, was you see is, so he sees what you see here with the blue line are the contributors over the years that m came to our community and made just one commit. So you can s clearly see that over the last two or three years we have made several improvements on that front. This of course <coughs> has to do with both the work that the Gold team have been doing and the promo team. At the same time, I think that's where you guys came around and started forming the team and doing work actually. So it seems like we're doing very well in terms of getting people in and making their first commit. Where we really need to improve is on these fronts. This is the five commits, 10 commits, and 20 commits. So we need to figure out ways on how to get that higher at the same time. Because you can see that we're not that far away from the renowned 2010 peak of in terms of production and productivity and new contributors in KDE but we still not need to do a lot of work in order to keep the people around, having them <coughs> stick into our community, so we, we need to improve on that. From my end, to sum, sum this up, having been working and coordinating this goal after two years, I think there are many things we can do to increase the sum of our community. Uh, we've been working on bringing newcomers in, but I think there's work to be done in, on how we interact on how we do things and how we communicate in order for our individual efforts to have like a higher uh, result, a higher impact in the end. Because uh, uh, I think that's the whole thing about it, uh, doing work with others and collaborating in order to have a bigger impact. So that's uh, my personal appeal. Now finally, um, after this uh, talk is over, we'll have a panel where we you will get a chance to learn about the new goals that our community has voted for in the last, um, I think, two weeks, three. So I'm anxious to learn what are the new goals. Of course, we need new paths to work on. We are, as I mentioned, I feel like we have adopted that, uh, the previous goals, and it doesn't mean that we should stop working on them, but it's good to have new goals in order to move into the future and adjust our routes going forward. So um, that's it for me. Thank you. <laughs> Any questions? Thanks a lot for working with them. Uh, especially pleased to see the, the move away from IRC to Matrix. That's been a personal bugbear. It's not perfect, but I, I think it's good to have progress. Do What do you think about moving away from mailman and updating the current forums towards uh, discourse uh, others, other communities have done? Huh? Yeah, okay. Probably that's how I turned it off. So, yeah, I definitely think that uh, mailing lists are something that new people are probably not accustomed to nowadays. And our forum, from what I see at least, is not that active nowadays. It's more or less being replaced by Telegram groups and Reddit, most probably. So, if we can find a solution that will actually solve what, uh, where and uh, resolve the issues that the other channels are having, I'm, I'm, I can't see why we shouldn't move on and adopt that. I know uh, this course have been, has been adopted in various communities already, and it can work as a mailing list, I think, as well. I've seen it, actually. So, yeah, let's work on it and see if we can convince the community to adopt it, <laughs> like all the other things. 
as we are running out of time, so if you guys have any questions, so please ask Neo in person. That's it. Thank you. Thank you.